Sleep apnea falls into two categories. Central, where the brain forgets to breathe. We don't see that a lot. I mean, typically, um, infants forget to breathe for a while and the brain matures over time. Sometimes babies are extremely premature, it takes a while for their brain to develop and they have what we call central apneas. And if you have a lot of them, their oxygen levels can drop and that can affect the rest of their body. There are rare diseases which also cause central apneas, um, one called Ondine's Curse, where we actually now know the gene mutation for it. Um, and these patients actually go so far to need a ventilator when they sleep, a machine to breathe and put them on life support. The more common type of apnea is obstructive sleep apnea. Typically in young infants, it's due to acid reflux in Children two to six years of age, that's when their tonsils and adenoids grow, so they have blockage from the upper, upper area of blockage. And then typically when we get older, our muscles kind of relax or we're, we're a little on the heavy side, so you have more fat um, tissue within the breathing passages, so you get it for different reasons. So when they try to breathe, you have a blockage in the breaths and that leads to obstruction, which can also affect oxygen levels. And it's really important because we're seeing much more obesity in children nowadays. And if you, um, there's a number of studies which show that uh, if you have significant obstructive sleep apnea, that can affect school performance. There's a one study where um, children got treated for obstructive sleep apnea and their grade point average is improved by 0.5. So it's something that can really affect children. When you have bad sleep apnea, you don't get deep sleep or REM sleep. And as a result, you're tired and it's harder to pay attention in class. In teenagers, it's even more important because it can increase the risk of automobile accidents by three times the risk.